on people dems uh do you know what yeah it is so good even though like i'm not in like a nine to five monday to friday job because this is my job <laughs> um i still have that friday feeling i don't know when that's ever gonna go do you know what i mean like from as early as being like a kid and like you get to Friday and it's like takeaway day. There's no more school. You've got the weekend. I mean, it's just, I just love a Friday, man. And it's a great excuse because I love a wine. I love a wine. I love a wine. Um, anyway, so uh, what's also good about today is because I've started doing these uh, Married at First Sight reactions and they're on every single day, uh, which means that every single night up until like what o'clock in the morning, I'm editing, trying to get my reaction out. So I've just got so many music reactions I cannot wait to dive into. So um, the first one that we're going to look at today, I've actually prepped it and I've forgotten who it is. <laughs> first one that we're looking at today is a lady called Neo. Um, so it's really funny because when I speak to like some like, just random people about, oh, do, do you know about Neo? Um, and they'll automatically presume I'm talking about Neo. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm talking about Neo, Neo. Um, she's amazing, I've been to a concert, she's sick. Like, if I can um, include like a little clip from the concert I went to, I will do. I just think she's phenomenal. I think her, her voice is so unique. Um, such a unique tone and such a great range. And like, yeah, I think she's great. And she comes across as a really nice person as well. That's the other thing that really, like, really hits me. Um, and there's just so many of her songs now that are just fully intertwined with like, you know, some of, some of my favorite memories. You're my Eddie, do, 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 do. You're my Eddie, do. Be your man. That's like, it's like a staple. If I'm having like a getting ready, going out playlist, yeah, that tune is in it every single time. I think it actually was like my favorite song on Spotify, like maybe two years in a row. Love me some Nao, man. Love me some Nao. Like as an ups, downs, around back town, Nao. If you don't know about Nao, you need to understand. I think she's just released some tour dates, yeah, and they're sold out in five minutes. I think it was only like six, then there was like maybe there's one in, maybe two in the UK. Um, I was actually was thinking about going. <laughs> well, that ship sailed. <laughs> that ship sailed a long time. So, um, but I'm, I just feel lucky enough that I've actually seen her twice. I've seen her once um, at her own dedicated concert in Birmingham, which was amazing. Uh, and then also saw her at Pride as well, which was like a complete surprise. Um, so that was really, really cool. Anyway, let me start gassing. This is her new song, because she's, she's been away for a little while, because she had a baby. Um, and I do believe this is a new, new album, new song. Okay, so we have a visualizer. Um, so let's see what the visualizer is of saying. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. New Nao, man. Can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment? Yeah, just take a moment. Okay.
vibe, man. Woo! Nayo, is that you though? Is that you though, Nayo? That was such a treat. That was such a treat. I feel like that is such a warming, like healing. I'm sure someone had even said that like, ah, oh, I feel like the world is healing again because like Nayo's come out with, with new music. Like there's something about her whole energy, her whole vibe, like the 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 kind of tone, the tone of her voice, um, that just makes just makes my soul glow, man. Like, and and I just love this this tune. Na 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 na. Like it's got that real kind of like almost like throwback. Do you know what I mean? Kind of throwbacky kind of vibe to it. Yeah, it's kind of like low key. Um, it's cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to kind of dissecting into the lyrics and stuff as well because obviously she, when it first started, it talked it talked about being this wildflower that kind of just like grows on its own, kind of of its own accord. Doesn't really need anything around it to still be what it is and stuff. But then I kind of there's so many things going on in terms of just like what her vocals were doing, and um, I, I I wasn't really focusing on all of the lyrics. But um, in fact, actually, let me just go look. <laughs> That's if the lyrics are actually out yet, though. Okay, like the chorus is so catchy. It's so like. It, well, I mean, unless the lyrics completely do not something, you know, different. Like, it, it seems like it's steeped in kind of positivity and stuff. I like the visualiser as well. Um, you know, didn't, cause we didn't we need to see... It, it's fine, like, do you know I mean? Like, she's in what looks like a flower and, like, she's almost, like, the centre of that flower, I think. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's the case, but... Um, okay, wildflowers, they grow on their own. And like the leaves in the wind, we go with the flow. From city to city, romancing in Rome, we fly high and land wherever we want. Sweet lullaby, we wake up and say goodbye and sacrifice our youth to the day that we die. Oh, either way, we stay here. Either we stay here or don't. Like, I, I love that. Because isn't that, if we're all being real, yeah, isn't that how we'd all love to be? Like, look how big the planet is, right? Even though there's all this kind of craziness happening and it's like humans can't just just enjoy like the earth space that they've been in conflict and stuff. But like how awesome would it be that, that you could just be like this free spirit that just comes and goes and it's got the freedom, the financial freedom in, a, in, in order to kind of just experience all there is in the world to experience, do you know what I mean? And you know, either we stay or don't and it's fine, you know? Chorus, time should wait for us, but it won't. So if you really love me, then say you love me till the end of time. Catch me and I'll catch you back. We'll keep falling till the end of time. So if you really love me, then say you love me and my shattered mind. Catch me and I'll catch you back. We'll keep falling till the end of time. I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? Catch me and I'll catch you back. Like, isn't that... Uh, that's like the goal in life, isn't it? When it comes to like relationships and whatever, it's finding that person who's your person. Do you know what I mean? Like, love me and my shattered mind. So if you really love me, yeah, and say you love me and my shattered mind, love all of me, all the broken bits, all the, all the, all the faults and everything. Do you know what I mean? Like, just love me for who I am. Like, I love this. Uh, wildflowers stuck in a stone. I keep reaching for light, but nobody knows if I'm alive or I'm well or nobody's home home this life will break us this life will make us baby let's take hiatus we sacrifice our youth to the day we die oh either we stay here or don't i mean i'm really liking that kind of analogy between what a, i guess what a, a flower that's wild does do i mean that kind of stuck in a stone like you know that's kind of growing around rock and stuff that's like reaching for the sunlight in order to grow in order to survive um but nobody knows Nobody knows if I'm alive or if I'm well. Because you, when you see wildflowers and stuff, I mean, I'm no gardener. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I'm i not green-fingered whatsoever. Like, weeds, all that kind of stuff, they all look kind of the same to me. Um, but, you know, I can imagine 
just walking across the doing your doing your life and whatever you're not even looking for that are you and i suppose if you're a person that could also be the same thing where we're so busy with the humdrum of life and stuff that we're not even taking that much time to see what's happening around us i mean you know look look at what just happened to liam payne um and all these people are coming out and talking about you know how you know the industry's failed him and you know where 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 was where were these people during his time of crisis and stuff you know what i mean were they there were they not there would would they've seen it if they if they would if they looked you know um this life will break us this life will make us and i think it's there's a lot more and there's a lot more evidence of people with mental health issues either because of social media and we're just made more aware of it or that there's just a lot more like you know negative things negative energy in the planet um that i think has affected so many people because i think there's a lot of people that have that have suffered with you know um depression and all, all those different types of mental mental health issues and stuff um you know this life will break us or it will make us you know um baby let's take hiatus listen ain't nothing wrong with a little break baby let's take a break whatever that break might be yeah if something's causing you you know um particular difficulty in your life um i think taking a bit of a break is 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 such a good idea we sacrifice our youth till the day we die oh either we stay here or don't we sacrifice our youth till the day we die Now, I don't understand that. We sacrifice our youth till the day we die. But if you're a wildflower and you're kind of here, there, or, you know, you might come, you might go, you might say, you might not. Like, why would it be a case of that you're going to sacrifice your youth until the day that you die? I don't, I don't think I understand that line. So if anyone can help me with that, that'd be great. But, yeah, I think as a, as a song, man... Like I'm, I'm just, I'm just super impressed with all of that, um, and I think, as a for me, it's gonna, it, it, it's always gonna be the case, yeah. Realistically, I think because, even when I went to the nail concert, like I, I knew certain songs, I didn't know like all of her discography, discography, um, and I was still enamoured by everything that I saw, everything I heard, every, even songs I hadn't heard before. I was like, oh my gosh, because I think like her artistry is so. It's, again, I keep coming back to unique. She's got such a unique tone, but such a unique style that her songs are like, I don't know how to describe it, man. It's just a vibe. So I think like whatever she comes out with, I'm already receptive to. I'm open. I'm like, okay, what you got? What What's next? Like, it's almost like I can't consume enough nail. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, and, I'm, and I know for a fact that all those lucky people that have got a ticket, those sold out shows, all know the same thing. Do you know what I mean? That she is, honestly, she's such a revelation. And to know that she's like from the UK, like I just love that. I love that for us. Do you know what I mean? I really, really do. So um, yeah, man, Nao, big up yourself. That's a tune. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I really like the visualizer as well. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what everyone else thought of this. What a great way to start off a Friday of reactions. Thank you, my darling. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this. Um, if you did enjoy uh, this reaction, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. Um, and if you do want access to my reactions and my content before it comes to YouTube, then please do head over to uh, my Patreon, which is a great way to help support the channel. And please do check out my store as well. There's loads of like cool, I'm not wearing one today, um, but there's loads of cool hoodies and t-shirts and like mugs and... and uh, Galaxies. <laughs> um so yeah do check that out as well but for now thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next oh <laughs>